In this video, we're going to showcase footage where we had a series of rallies against tougher and tougher opponents where their hospital was completely full. The number of troops they are going to lose is going to total to tens of millions of power. So stick around in this video. Get out the popcorn because, yeah, this is fun to watch. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. And today, we're bringing you some city rallies where these players really should have healed down their hospital. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, hey, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. These hospitals are going to totally overflow. The players you're watching get rallied in this video are all, I think, 90 million plus power. I mean, it's completely insane. Completely insane. We've got Natilla Takeda rally here in Heroic Anthem Kingdom versus Kingdom Sif, the rally leader. Max Technology, which is just completely out of control. Garrison Defense, Charles Martel with Esong. Now, I don't think these players were offline, or at least they came online very quickly after being on the receiving end of these rallies, which were completely savage. We do have reports in this video, and I mean, you'll you'll see in a moment just how insane this is. So because we're in Heroic Anthem KVK, there are also support skills, and I just want to call attention that really no amount of support skills are going to make Charles Martel with Esong a good enough pair to withstand an Attila Takeda. Yes, Charles and Esong is a garrison I recommend many players make their way toward because it's easy to do. You should go for Esong anyways, and Charles, you'll get him to a good place from gold keys. However, the combination just doesn't have what it takes to get the job done against Attila Takeda. My goodness. Now, in this instance, it looks like we're not even buffing our own rally, which we should be doing. I mean, I, I, I'll be a harsh critic of our, our, you know, alliance here. We really should be Joan of Arc, Constantine, Mulan... And even Zenobia buffing this rally, we're not doing that. I think that's a mistake, but <laughs> just imagine when you see these results, how insane they would have been if we had properly buffed this rally. Here, ooh, that player reinforced the rally from the wrong angle and <laughs> ate some AoE damage, which won't be represented in the report. So there is extra value. Oh my gosh, another player joining the rally from the wrong angle. They are definitely going to get hit by some Ezong AoE. Heck, even CBO showing up to the party. What? Okay, rally's done. They're down to 78 and a half million power. When you see this report, okay, when you see this report, you're gonna your eyes are gonna pop because you're gonna see the power loss in the report. They lost 14 million power, one and a half million troops. P.S. Apparently, I misremembered who was leading the rally. Looks like it was Jeeds on the the rally lead for this one. Okay, wow. I mean, pfft. look at the troops they lost here. Their city's almost entirely T5, which I think is. A fine choice. That means their hospital, well, their hospital was already full. Their hospital was already full, and shortly after this, by the way, the player teleported away, so they didn't take another rally. Man, support skills chosen. I like their choice of skills. Constantine's garrison skill, really solid for this situation. Sun Tzu's garrison skill, really solid for the situation. And two city rallying, or I guess one city rallying skill, Mehmed, chosen there, and Kusunoki. The Kusunoki fourth skill chosen by Jeeds. Really solid support skills, I think, all the way around, but pfft, look at that, 315% cavalry attack. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, that, and as you see, the player's online now. After that, they either were online and, and, and thought they could handle that better, and I, I don't know. I don't know, man. So savage. 15 million power almost lost there. There they go. So let's go to the next rally. Okay, here we've got a 91, almost 92 million power city. About the same power as the previous. Don't know if they're offline or what. 3.9 million dead troops. 113 million kills. They do have the Duke. Let's get this rally rolling. Okay, here comes the rally. And this time, we've got some Joan of Arc and Constantine buffs going, which is crucial. Oh. Really? They teleported. Wait a minute. Another rally happening at the same time? Hello. Hold on. Okay, here comes the rally. Buffing is happening here, which is crucial. We've got Zenobia buffs. We've got Constantine buffs. We've got Joan of Arc buffs. That's how you take down a city. And ooh, YSS as the garrison here. Who's the secondary? Probably Theodora, if I had to guess. Oh no, Wu Zetian. Of course it's Wu Zetian. Wu is the best. <laughs> Wu is the best. 
Who's the rally leader here? Groggy. Okay, this time I'll actually read it from the screen and try to recall it from memory. Pro tip. Just read it from the screen, Chiskel. And they've got the general, okay? Nice buff to have for taking a rally. 10% of stats in total. And when it's buffing all troop types, I mean, that is really kind of a big deal, which is the case for a city defense. But le let me tell you, the buffs from Constantine and Joan and Zenobia, if they are landing on the rally, and as long as players are not goofing around in the field, then yeah, that should land the Zenobia buff on the rally. That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I mean, 30% extra all damage. That's a big deal for two seconds. So here we are, enjoying the... <laughs> This unfold, oh my gosh. I mean, kick back and enjoy, am I right? Look at the damage here. You can see the occasional heal coming from the Zenobia, I believe. It's not a huge heal. It looked like it was like 700. There it was, 600. It's a small heal, but if you get that all damage to land on the rally, man, I mean, that's... That's pretty significant. That is pretty significant. Rally doing its thing here. City now getting swarmed. Holy jeez. A lot of marches swarming the city. Oh, get that simplify graphics off. There we go. <laughs> Good job, Jiskel. I'm happy with how I recorded that. And I'm eager to see this report. I mean, this has got to be completely insane. Keep in mind, we won't even see the damage done by all these marches, okay? Oh, and they bubbled. Okay, but they're down to 72 million power, so I don't remember what their power was at the start of this. I think, I, you know, you saw in the footage, it was actually one big clip where we were rallying a couple cities here. I, they obviously purposefully took this rally, although I don't know that they meant to lose these troops. They lost 78,000. We filled their hospital over here. And YSS Wu, I mean, it's a serious garrison. They also lost a lot of troops from the swarming as well. I would guess they maybe lost maybe 100,000 troops in total. So this particular city, it looks like at the start of this, they had 3 million troops here. Okay. So assuming that was all T5, and it, it might not be, then they're probably around 80 million or so power to start. Well taken rally on their part, inflicting some damage on us. Their hospital overflowed, but that actually wasn't as bad as I remembered it. Let's go to the next clip. Okay, here's the rally I thought I was watching earlier. Sif, now the rally leader with that max technology, Buffs are in Constantine, Joan of Arc, Zenobia. Yeah. It's Attila Takeda. City defense is Charles Martel and probably YSG. There it is. They do have the general. Okay. Cool. General's a solid 10% of stats. But this rally is going to be savage. Now, the only reason we can be buffing like this is because we have field control. And we have field control because we basically mostly taken over this zone already. It will be much harder to try to buff a rally like this if the enemy could go and charge into these troops and knock them out. So because we've got pretty solid zone control, we can go in and give these buffs, which dramatically changed the course of the rally, by the way. By the way. So let's see how this goes here. Attila Takeda. And this is fast, by the way. Like, this is 1x speed. But the city goes from full health to zero in, like, a minute. <laughs> It, that is very fast as far as, and I think, you know, taking a city rally goes. I mean, if you watch some of our other videos with cities getting rallied, I'll have a few cards up in the top for, you know, 100 million power cities, 130 million power cities in light and darkness KVK. They, they take a lot longer to burn. They take tons of rallies. I mean, it's a completely different ball game. The balance is completely different in other versions of KVK, but this... Is going to be pretty fierce. So momentarily, the city will get knocked down. I don't remember if they bubble or not. I didn't even remember anybody had bubbled in these videos I had recorded. It's been it's been quite the blur. So let's see what happens here. Take a sip of tea. Grab a fistful of popcorn. They're now down to 70 and a half million power. And they let it go all the way to burning. Savage. Totally savage. I'm pretty sure they do port away. Oh my god. 2.1 million overflow from the hospital. They lost almost 20 million power. 19.2 million power loss. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So painful. Wow. 
almost 500,000 troops on our end, using the Khan skill and also, it's, I think it's the Bybar's skill for 20% attack. Uh, Bybar's skill also chosen for the defense, Arabian Knights, probably not what I would choose there, but I do really like the Sun Tzu skill choice for the city defense. Wow, oh, that player has come online, they have bubbled. Jeez, that last one was so savage. Speaking of which, here's a double rally on Billy Giant. Now, I'm pretty sure Billy's got max tech. He's got a pretty beast configuration. So whatever he's using here, I mean, he's making a very purposeful choice to use. Whatever he's doing, I mean, this player is very, very difficult to deal with in the field and when he was garrisoning flags. He is choosing the Charles Martel Esong. I assume he's trying to hit some AoE damage here. I assume he's trying to land some AoE damage. We do have some buffs going. We do have, it looks like a Mulan buff going on, a Joan of Arc buff, a Constantine buff. I mean, yeah, those buffs make a huge difference for the success of the rally. Huge to get those buffs going. And now, I mean, we sit back and we watch the fireworks as rally number two. Rally number two makes its way over Archer Rally. Archer Rally is the choice that is Sif with the Archers. And if I'm not mistaken, it is Mal Jammy. Yes, it's Mal. Yes, it's Mal leading the Attila Takeda. Two max tech players, by the way. I mean, the city's max tech. These players are max tech. City was over 100 million power to start. Well over 100 million power to start. We'll look at both of these reports in just a moment and walk through this. Just totally nuts. Totally nuts. Oh, my gosh. So a public service announcement. Heal your hospital. A public service announcement. You know, if you want your kingdom to leave Imperium, I don't think this is the way to do it. You know, we've made a number of videos about how we run Kingdom 75 and the approach we take toward leaving Imperium. Maybe I'll drop a card up in the top for how we run our our kingdom. I mean, this is crazy. I'm pretty sure Billy Jai's online. I don't know if he expected this to have been the outcome, but he's down to 91 million power. I'm, If I remember correctly, he was like 110 million power. We can go look at the reports, though, and show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, here's the report from Jammy. 450,000 dead for Jammy and 1.29 all hospital overflow with that Attila Takeda. All hospital overflow, 12.7 million power loss. <sighs> Jeez. Unbelievable. Let me see if I can get that Archer report. Okay, here is the Nebu. YSG report, 122,000 lost for the rally, 331,000 lost for the city. That's 3.2 million power loss. This means that Billy lost in total around 15 million power. Uh, it's so painful. But I suppose the upside of a heroic Anthem KVK is that you do get half your troops back. So however much you've lost, you will get half back. For me, I mean, this KVK, this is the lowest amount of troops I've lost in some time. There are more players who were online uh, around, like, 5 a.m. my time, which is sort of, like, peak time for the folks we were battling against um, that had significantly more deaths that was much more in alignment with, you know, what a usual KVK is like for me. I know Abe lost about 30 million power. <laughs> we, we had a lot of players that were ready to lay down more troops, but at this point, I think this KVK is in a really solid spot for us. If you enjoyed this video and liked watching the city rallies, do me a favor, throw a like on the video. Consider subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. We were rallying literally 20 cities at a time. 20 cities at a time when we broke into this zone over here. I'll have a card up in the top for that live stream. I mean, it's a long live stream because there's that much unbelievable action. You're not going to want to miss it, honestly. And we have not and will not make uh, you know, a highlights clip from that one. We just we just didn't have the eight hours of footage all recorded to go and do that, but it's certainly worth checking out. And look, if you haven't subscribed, you're probably not going to want to miss when we enter into this zone and it's potentially the same thing all over again with like 20 city rallies at a time. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty nuts, my friends. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.